catching a cold-blooded killer. The FBI and Boston police are now offering a big reward to track down a man wanted for killing five people in Chinatown 30 years ago. WBZ's Louisa Muller is live in Chinatown in Boston tonight with the details. Louisa? Well, Lisa, this happened at a time that feels almost unrecognizable when Chinatown here was called the combat zone due to gang and drug activity. Now investigators say this suspect has ties to California, Toronto, parts of Asia, and they're hoping he'll be brought to justice. It was a cold January night in Boston, 1991. Six men shot execution style while playing cards in a Chinatown social club, only one of them surviving. It is with heavy hearts that we mark today's anniversary of one of the bloodiest massacres in Boston's history. At a news conference Tuesday, the FBI called for new attention to the case, offering up to $30,000 leading to the arrest of this man, Hung Tian Pham, identified by the crime's lone survivor. This age progress photo shows what he might look like now at age 60. Investigators determined in the 1980s through the early 1990s Pham was an associate of Asian organized crime. Pham, who's also wanted for a murder that took place four days prior to the massacre, fled the country for Hong Kong and was last known to be in Thailand. But two fellow assailants were arrested and returned to the U.S. in 2001 to serve five consecutive life sentences for murder. A family never forgets the pain and the loss of their loved ones. And neither do we who stand here before you. The FBI hopes a fresh look at this face will bring closure to multiple families haunted by an incident that took place 30 years ago. So we have seven families that have been impacted for the rest of their lives. Now the FBI is looking for any information, even if Pham is dead or alive, and they say if you do see him, do not approach, call law enforcement immediately. He's considered armed and dangerous. Live in Chinatown, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.